Hurricane Forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Well, today was the warmest day since Christmas morning. We had temperatures in the 40s early on Christmas morning, and since that time, we've largely been below normal, and we hit 37 for a high temperature this afternoon. Now, overnight tonight, skies will be mostly clear. Uh, the temperature won't fall nearly as much as it did last night. We had lows between about 8 and 15 last night. Tonight, we're talking low to mid-20s. Warmer readings in our western and southwest counties here from Pence to Lafayette at 25 and 22 Winnemac, Rochester, and Peru, 23 at Burlington and Delphi. And there will be light freezing fog tonight. It's not going to be dense because the wind will keep the air stirred up a little bit overnight. However, there may be a little patchy black ice from that light freezing fog in the morning and also uh, some pretty good frost to scrape in areas tomorrow morning as well. Now, tomorrow afternoon, the meltdown continues. We'll see partly cloudy skies. Wind still brisk out of the southwest, but a high temperature of 41 Monticello and Burlington, Kokomo area, 42 in Lafayette and Crawfordsville, and 38 up the north where the snow packs a little deeper at Winnemac, Rochester, as well as Morocco. Then after that, uh, Thursday night, late Thursday night into early Friday, we watch a little weak Alberta clipper pass through. And with temperatures cooling to right around 30, a few freezing rain showers, rain showers, and even sleet showers will accompany this little clipper. It doesn't take much to slick and roads up a little bit. I don't think this is going to be a big deal, but it may put down enough very light freezing rain or sleet to create a slick spot or two early on Friday morning. And then a wet, warm pattern will ensue next week. Some pretty good rain will arrive, could lead to at least some flooding. Still some question as to how much, and then we're back again to the deep freeze as we start February. So not bad weather really over the next few days. Certainly tomorrow, Friday, we've got this clipper that'll pass through in the morning with a few of those light freezing rain and sleet showers. Again, allow yourself a little extra time. And then on Saturday, a lot of clouds. Still looks like the rain staying south of our area. We'll keep an eye on it, but the model's still keeping this rain to our south. 41 for the high, nice on Sunday at 44, and even into early next week. Notice these highs, mid, perhaps upper 40s. We'll be up to 50 by Tuesday, and then things really start to get going Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday. Several storm systems with a lot of rain, wind, perhaps an isolated thunderstorm, and even some severe weather to our south by Friday and the next weekend. And before it's all said and done, I think one to three inches is likely over about that four or five day period before the bottom falls out on the temps. We're going to pay big time for those spring temperatures back to the Arctic blast to start February. So mostly clear, little light freezing fog tonight and patchy black ice. We'll drop to 25 tomorrow, 42, partly cloudy and warmer. And the warm weather continues after a bit of a cool down Friday with 37. It'll be the mid 40s over the weekend and low 50s by the middle part of next week. And the wet weather pattern really starts to get going on Wednesday, Jeff. Well, I like the looks of that. Boy, there's